Okay, now we got our understanding about well, variables and constants, how we can use them to build some real simple calculators. We're going to add one more set of statements and then we're going to bring everything together to make a, a pretty decent calculator. The for and while statements are powerful, powerful instructions that you can use in Python because it allows you to, to, to maneuver or manage uh, data flow within your application. So what is the for statement? Well, there you can see right there, the, the answer, it's a control method to do something using a list of items. So you can see some examples there of how the for is used to manage a list of items. And, and that's basically the, the format that you have there. So again, you have numbers that you can manage. You can see for I, N, and then you have the list of numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. You can use whatever variables you want. Notice we have braces versus brackets. That's acceptable using the for statement. And also, when we want to use strings, again, put everything in quotations, and you can set up a list of more definitive objects, like in this case we are defining 1, 2, and the letter A. So again, four examples of the formats that you can use for the for statement. So here's an example of how we're going to play around with the for statement. We're going to read in the items in a list and then we're going to store them in a target variable. In this case, the target variable is the letter I. So in the example there, you can see we have four I in one, two, three, four. Got to have that little colon at the end. If not, you get an error. And then the list of items, well, it's the numbers. One, two, three, four, which in this case are integer numbers. The numbers can be floating point as well. Then we're going to read that list into the variable I. So when we're ready to get the data out, we use the print statement. And you can see right there, we just type in at the prompt for I in one, two, three, four colon and hit the print I. So again, this is a nice little, you try it and you should see the results on, on the screen. So we're going to go ahead and do that demonstration and you get to see how that for statement really works.